This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 Technology Student course. In this session, we will see how and why you might want to build and save documents. This unique feature of TI Inspire takes us on a journey beyond answers and into explorations. And it seems fitting that the last lesson in this series focuses on a sequence. The Fibonacci sequence, also known as the Pingala sequence. Create a new document and insert a notes application. Type the heading Fibonacci. You can experiment with the font a little bit. It seems fitting to include a graph or diagram of the famous spiral. Press the document key and select Page Layout and choose Horizontal Split. The graph will need a little bit more space, so press the document key, Page Layout and select Custom Split. Now move the division bar closer to the heading and then click. To shift the focus to the bottom window, press Ctrl and Tab or just click in the bottom window. Press Menu and insert a Graphs application. Change the graph type to Polar. And type the equation 2 times e to the power of 2 times the natural logarithm of 1.618 multiplied by theta over pi and subtract Pi on 2. Arrow down and change the range of values for theta from 0 to 4 pi and press enter. You may want to hide the equation and perhaps even hide the axes. That's a beautiful start to our investigation into the Fibonacci sequence. Insert a spreadsheet application. Navigate to the top of column A and type the heading Term. For column B, type the heading Fib. In cell A1, type 1. And in cell A2, enter the formula equals A1 plus 1. Now go back to cell A2, press Menu, Data and Fill. Arrow down to cell A30 and press Enter. Now arrow across to cell B1 and type in 1. That's the first term in our Fibonacci sequence. In cell B2, type another 1. That's the first two terms. In cell B3, we'll type a formula. Equals B1 plus B2 and navigate back to cell B3 and then fill down to cell B30. Now this spreadsheet will be useful for each section in our investigation, so it's worth copying. Press the document key and insert another problem. Notice that the page numbering has changed. This is page 1 of problem number 2. Press CTRL and UP to go to the page sorter view. Navigate to the spreadsheet in problem 1 and press CTRL followed by C to copy. And then CTRL followed by V to paste it into problem 2 and delete the first page that's blank. In this problem, we'll explore the golden ratio. Column C can have the heading gold. In cell C1, type the formula B2 divided by B1. And since I want decimal results, I could use the approximate command or just type in multiplied by 1.0. Now we want to fill the formula down. The ratio appears to be approaching a limit, around about 1.618. 
zero three. This value is known as the golden ratio. You may recall it from our formula for the spiral. Insert a data and statistics application, then press tab and select term, press tab and select gold. You can see how quickly we're approaching some sort of a limit. Insert another data and statistics application and graph term number against the Fibonacci sequence. This graph appears to be almost exponential, which is not surprising given the original formulation of the sequence was based on the breeding of rabbits. We know that the ratio is approaching 1.618, so we can graph 1.618 to the power of x. And that's pretty close. If we shift the graph to the right one unit, it's even closer. There is also a silver and bronze ratio. Press DOC, insert a new problem, navigate to the page sort of view, and copy the gold spreadsheet into the new problem. Now I'll change the name of the gold column to silver. Edit the formula in cell B3. This time we'll have one helping of B1 and two helpings of B2. And fill the formula down. Notice what happens in the silver column. Once again, we're approaching a limit. This is called the silver ratio. Now I'll go back to problem one and select the original spreadsheet. Enter a five in cell D1. We'll use column C to store the value of a calculation involving modular arithmetic. I can't use the heading mod since it's a reserved word, so I'll type modulo. In cell C1, we'll put the formula equals mod for modular arithmetic B1, comma, and we want to do the absolute reference of cell D1, so I'll use dollar D dollar one. This formula will find the remainder of each term in, in the Fibonacci sequence when divided by the number located in cell D1, regardless of where the formula is placed. Now, fill the formula down. Insert a data and statistics application and graph the term against modulo. It looks like a pattern is occurring. Navigate back to the spreadsheet and change the value in D1 to a 3. Go back to the data and statistics application. A new pattern that also appears to repeat itself. This one is a little bit shorter in its period. The number of terms in each pattern is called the Pisano period. Named after Fibonacci, of course. That's because his real name was Leonardo Pisano Bogolo. I'll finish this episode with a program that produces visualizations of the Pisano periods. Something else you might want to add to your document. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching.